Thank you. Today marks the 76th anniversary of the last day in the Battle of Midway, a four-day battle in the Pacific Ocean during World War II. Ten on your sides, Kara Dixon went to Virginia Beach today for a ceremony commemorating the historic battle. The Navy is celebrating the battle at Midway because they say that battle ushered in a carrier era and we live in an aircraft carrier town. Today we got the chance to look back at history along with those who lived it. They're taking us back to 1942. I would love a newspaper. A time when one of the biggest battles of World War II raged in the Pacific. I can't believe I'm, I'm as old as I am either. 76 years later and Raymond Montfort still remembers it all. He served on board the USS Hammond that sunk along with the USS Yorktown. The forward part of the ship, the bow was one place and the stern was someplace else. I was an ensign. That's about the lowest you can get in the commissioned officer's rank. Captain Dexter Rumsey also remembers it well. He was a scout pilot watching for Japanese planes. Rumsey eventually became commanding officer at NAS Oceana. It's nice to have a, a, a compliment on the friendship of all of the Navy people. It's those Navy people who put this on to let the community know about that great victory. We're great at remembering our defeat, Pearl Harbor. We're not always great at remembering our victories. And that's what Midway was. A turning point in the war, sending the Japanese scrambling by sinking for their carriers. It was a sacrifice, you know. We had to go. I had to do it. A lot of people lost their lives, you know. I'm lucky. You know, I really, I really I'm, I'm blessed. I feel I'm blessed in a way. And uh, it was a heck of a battle. It really was. A battle and service members will never forget and neither will they. Ask a blessing for the loved ones of those who lost their lives. Today's event was held at the Naval Aviation Monument Park along the boardwalk, and it has a lot more history about aircraft carriers. If you like to come out and look at it, it's always open to the public. Reporting in Virginia Beach, Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.